What is printed people? Welcome back to Custom 3D. Now today, I got a great video for you. Now, I was gonna come out with another 3D printing news video, but Prusa just announced the new XL, and I think this printer looks really cool, at least on paper. So, that's the topic of today's video. I'm gonna tell you all about the new Prusa XL. So if you've been following my channel for the past few months, you would know my opinion on the Prusa Mark 3S Plus. Uh, and I will have it for just about a year uh, in December. So this new Prusa XL sort of reinvents hobbyist 3D printing due to the way it uh, extrudes filament and levels the bed. So first of all, let me tell you the build volume of the Prusa XL. So it's 360 millimeters cubed, uh, which is obviously 360 by 360 by 360. Uh, and what's really interesting about this printer is you basically don't have to live adjust v, uh, Z, excuse me, for any different, uh, you know, print beds that you put on. You know, they have like the textured one and the PEI sheet. Uh, and this is really groundbreaking because for me, that's one of the biggest drawbacks in 3D printing is first layers. When you have somebody new getting into 3D printing and it doesn't stick, they don't know what to do and they're lost and they think their printer is broken. So I sort of felt like the first company to come out with software in their 3D printer or hardware uh, that could make the first layer seamless 99% of the time would be, you know, ages ahead of other 3D printing companies. Because, you know, the first layer is the most important layer in, in 3D printing, and it's also the layer where you have the most problems. Uh, and let me explain the, the sort of process that, that they sent out of how this leveling system is so advanced. So basically, there's a new sensor technology that they embedded within the extruder and the nozzle. So essentially, the nozzle just presses up against the bed and it's able to level the bed that way. Now this is really interesting uh, because I had a Monoprice MP10 uh, that had very similar technology to this. It had automated bed leveling. That printer sucked. It was very unreliable and that system of leveling the bed broke you know, within a month of use and I returned it. Um, so I'm curious to see, you know, the breakdown of how that system works and see if it's going to be reliable because obviously, you know, you don't want this to break within a month uh, because it costs a lot of money. However, if there's one thing I will give Prusa is that the parts they provide and the build quality they provide is vastly higher than other 3D printing companies, especially cheap, knockoff 3d printers out of china so another huge upgrade on the prusa xl is that the bed has a lot of different heating elements so that it gets a nice even heat a lot of times when you look at larger 3d printers for example the creality cr10 s4 um, you, they put the same exact size heating element on the bottom of the printer and it doesn't print the uh, it doesn't heat the edges. So if you want to print in PETG or any other high temp material, uh, it's not going to stick. You know, you can basically only print in PLA on those machines. So it sort of defeats the purpose of buying that large of a printer in the first place. Quote Prusa, they say on their website underneath where the Prusa XL is for sale, the print quality is further enhanced by the XL's modular bed design. Instead of using a single large heat bed, which is prone to warping, like the issues on the CR10s, the XL uses an array of smaller, individually controlled segments. Only the necessary part of the heat bed is activated when printing smaller objects, making the XL energy efficient. This sort of makes me think of an OLED screen on a phone where the whenever you're you know using your phone uh, like on the Samsung devices you have the always on display and it only shows the time and 
uh, you know, the date. And it basically only illuminates those pixels so that you're not using the whole screen and you're using less battery. So that's sort of how the heat bed on this machine works. And also, the other thing I'm worried about is it seems like there's more parts to break. You know, there's all these different segments on the print bed. But, I mean, it's not like they're going under immense wear and tear and they're moving all the time. They're always in place. So I don't think that is a real concern. The XL comes with the brand new neck extruder, a completely redesigned extruder with zero backlash, cyclical gearbox, hot swappable nozzles, and a load cell based system for fully automatic first layer calibration. Now that is a lot of words, and honestly, that word cyclic, cyclical or something or whatever, you know, Joseph Prusa himself can't pronounce it. Oh, Can you see? But the new extruder just adds to the array of new upgrades that the XL has. And it has a larger gear so that there is more surface area pushing up against the filament while it's being pushed into the extruder, which then creates less backlash. So the, the coolest feature they say on the new XL is really interesting. So I think it's best that I just quote Prusa again. And perhaps the best feature, the XL can easily be expanded to up to five tool heads, thanks to a highly accurate tool changer with automatic calibration via the load cell sensor. No more tedious calibration prints. Our internally developed kinematic coupler mechanism ensures millions of trouble-free tool changes. Using multiple tool heads, opens up a new option for your 3D printer. Easily print soluble supports, print up to five colors, or print with vastly different materials. The tool head will be available individually in our eShop as optional upgrades. So you can basically start with a single extruder, uh, XL, and upgrade it gradually over time based off your needs. And uh, they say more information about our plans for the tool uh, changer and the benefits of the various novel nozzles can also be find, found in another article. Just quickly went over all the different upgrades on the XL. It's also going to have a color LCD and, you know, you'll see what it looks like in, you know, some videos I play during this video. Uh, but let's go over pricing as a last thing. So it starts semi-assembled at... $1,999, which is basically two grand. This is twice as much as the Prusa Mark uh, 3S Plus. Uh, now you're getting into Ultimaker territory. Uh, you know, and if you want it fully assembled from the, uh, you know, out of the box, it's 2,500 bucks. And if you want all five tool heads, it's $4,000. Uh, this is insane. That's definitely Ultimaker territory. And will this be able to compete with them? You know, honestly, due to the build quality linear rail system that they have for all the axes, the new color LCD display, uh, which some Ultimakers still don't have yet, the easy, easy, you know, use and integrated tool heads might be a game changer. We'll see how they last. You know, this might be a huge competitor and disruptor in the 3D printing industry by Prusa. And, you know, when they are available to buy, you can buy them right now, but I don't think I'm going to pre-order one. I think I'm going to wait a little bit longer because there might be issues with it when it first comes out because of all these new technologies that they're putting in it. But I definitely think I'd want to get one and try it out. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I'm really excited with this new Prusa XL. I think this is gonna really change the 3D printing industry, not just the hobbyist, but the industry due to this new bed leveling system. I think it's the most useful item on this new printer. So I'll catch you in the next one and make sure you check out all the links in the description below.